Just three years ago, I looked like this and made $2,000 a month as a worker at Taco Bell. Fast forward three years later, now I look like this and make $12,000 a month. Now I'm not making this video to brag or anything, I'm making it solely to help motivate you guys and show you that in just three short years, you can completely change your life and completely change your happiness. So let me take you back to the beginning. So I've always enjoyed making money and working a lot. I started working when I was 12 years old, I just did yard work for some neighbors, and then when I was 14 years old, I became a referee for basketball and soccer games for like third grade. So I did those things. I was making a little bit of money, you know, nothing major. And then when I was 16 and I could finally get a real job, I decided to go with Taco Bell. Now I was just a normal worker. I thought this would be like a job I held for maybe a couple months, maybe a year or so. But like a lot of companies do, they sell you on some pipe dream. They suck you into a story that sounds great, but really it just drags you down into a path that's filled with misery, long work hours, and really never making that much money. So at the age of 17, I became a shift supervisor and I was working 40 hours a week while trying to go to high school. And honestly, I didn't give a crap about high school. I got anything from A's in some classes to D's in other classes. And in fact, the day of my graduation, I still had an F in one of my classes and I wasn't even sure if the work I had turned in the day before was gonna count towards my grade and if I'd even get my diploma. Luckily, I did end up graduating, but that's how little school meant to me. I just wanted to work. And so I was 17, shift supervisor. <laughs> And at that age, they only let you work a maximum of 40 hours a week. They don't let you go into overtime, but sometimes I'd end up working 44 hours just so I could squeak out a little bit of overtime. And in fact, some days I'd even leave school. I would skip class just so I could go work. That's how much I just wanted to make money. So after I graduated and turned 18 years old, I became a co-manager at the Taco Bell which is basically where you and another manager manage the entire store. So at that point, I was making $12.50 per hour. It was terrible. I was working 50 to 60 hours a week, basically hating life. The one thing I did enjoy was just the sense of community and the friends I worked with. But other than that, I mean, it, it was just a straight trash job. But my area manager sold me on, again, that pipe dream. They were like, man, I see a lot of potential in you. You scored super high on the manager test. Like you're gonna go on to do great things in this company. You're gonna work your way up, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they try and suck you in in any way they can. And so I was 18, I was making about $500 a week working all these hours and life just wasn't that great. But my goal was to work my way up and I was like, I can do this. I gotta do the grunt work right now, but eventually I'm gonna be super high up and I'm gonna be making all this money and I'm gonna be enjoying life. And so at the age of 19, I was actually offered my own store to be the general manager of. But unfortunately it was to a KFC, so I'd have to transfer stores and I decided to take the job. And get this, they raised my pay up to a whopping $14 an hour, yeah. It was pretty rough. And so being the general manager, everything falls on you. And the way it works in this company is each individual store is its own franchise. And so you're basically a co-owner in that specific store. They give you stock in the store. They give you stock in the overall company. And again, they just sell you on this wonderful life. Like, oh, you're gonna retire with all this money. Your stocks are gonna be worth this amount in 30 years when you decide to retire, all this stuff. And so I was 19 years old and I was sold. I was the youngest manager in the entire company and I was feeling pretty great about myself. But just two months into that, I decided, you know what, I've had enough. This just sucks way too bad. And so I quit. I literally closed the store one night, texted my area manager and said, I'm done. I'm not coming back to work. Yeah, it was a bad way to go out and I probably burned some bridges, but I just had to get out of there as quickly as possible and I didn't wanna change my mind. I wanted to stick with the decision I made and I didn't wanna be led back into that pipe dream. So while I was a manager, I did some DoorDash on the side. I would get off work really late at night and then I would go dash for a couple hours and I really enjoyed it. I was making like 15, $16 an hour back then as a DoorDash driver and I was like, man, I enjoy this so much more. I don't have a boss. I just get to listen to music in my car, hang out, and I make the same amount per hour that I'm making as a manager. So that was like the final straw. I was like, I'm quitting and I'm just gonna do DoorDash. So as a DoorDash driver, I was making like, four to 600 bucks a week and I was living on my own and I was feeling pretty great. I took that time to decide what I wanted to do with my life. I couldn't decide between being a personal trainer, which I kind of wanted to go into. I also was thinking about maybe going to college 
and becoming a statistician for the NBA, but I eventually landed on becoming a real estate agent. And things were going great. I got my real estate license, I was still doing DoorDash, and I was really enjoying everything. I was doing open houses, I was showing clients houses, and all sorts of stuff. But unfortunately, as a real estate agent, you really don't make money your first year in the business. And so that's what I struggled with super hard. And if you guys watched my Penny series that I did, I'm not the best salesman. So I decided this just wasn't the job for me and I needed to move on to something else. And so that's when I started my YouTube channel, which was originally supposed to be all sorts of finance and real estate stuff, but I uploaded my first DoorDash video and it kind of took off. And so I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just film myself doing DoorDash. I mean, that's what I really enjoy doing anyway. And so I decided to do DoorDash full-time and then YouTube full-time. And that kind of takes us to where we are right now, where from YouTube ad revenue, I make about six to $7,000 a month. And that's not even all of it. See, what I realized through this entire journey is that I had to stop trading my time for money. And I had to start making money based off of results, which is what really drew me into YouTube because I could spend the same amount of time making a video say about two hours and it gets a couple thousand views. Or I could spend the same amount of time on a different video that gets a hundred thousand views and make a whole bunch more money. So I saw the potential there and I just decided to run with it. Now the cool thing about YouTube is once you grow your channel a little bit, you can start diversifying within your YouTube channel, which is what I've started doing now. So from YouTube ad revenue, I make about six to 7,000, like I said. And then recently from sponsorships, I've been making roughly $2,000. I can't give you guys the exact amount, I don't think but it's roughly $2,000. And then add on what I make from DoorDash and the money I have invested, and it comes out to be about $12,000 a month. Now, unfortunately, this is not all profit, and doing all this does come with quite a bit of expenses, and I have to pay taxes on it, but it's still a whole lot better than working at a W-2 job where you're trapped in a company and you have no freedom. So in order to go from 2,000 to $12,000 a month like I did, I had to make some personal changes as well, not just professional changes. And I'm talking about like life habits. So something I did along the way was I started working out every day. I started eating slightly better. I mean, I still eat out quite a bit, but I started just paying more attention to what I'm putting in my body and combine that with working out and a better sleep schedule. Instead of sleeping from two in the morning to 10 in the morning, I now go to bed at around 10 or 11, wake up at around seven in the morning and I feel so much better and that makes a huge difference. And along with all that, one of the biggest things that's helped me grow my income like this is the fact that I got married at the age of 21. I guess it was actually two months before I turned 21, but I was roughly 21 years old when I got married. And I think this is a big thing that needs to be talked about more because when you get married, it helps ground you and it helps you focus on things that truly matter. Instead of going out and partying every weekend or spending money on date after date that doesn't go anywhere or just looking for girls to hook up with or anything like that, you can get rid of all that and just focus on making money and growing your income and having more freedom and more happiness because that is the true goal. And so combine all those things and that's how I was able to grow my income from $2,000 a month to $12,000 a month where I'm at today. And I'm just getting started. There's so many other streams of income that I wanna add into my portfolio of overall money making. And so I hope to bring you guys along with me on that journey journey and hopefully you guys can take some things from this video and from my YouTube channel and apply them in your life so that you can not only make more money but also just attain a higher level of freedom and happiness because it shouldn't be a monetary goal. It should be a goal of having financial freedom, living below your means, and finding overall happiness. And so hopefully you guys can take something out of this video and hopefully it motivates you to make a change if you've been wanting to make a change in your life recently. But anyways, there you guys have it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe. I got a lot of great content coming up for you guys and I'll see you guys next time.